Canada is the first G7 country to have negotiated a free trade agreement with Europe. It's, it's really the time now for Canadian companies to get in the door. Europe is a really big market. It's large, there's 500 million consumers. It's relatively wealthy. The average age is about 41 years. Europe is uh, much more than just one market. It's actually 28 markets in one, and they're all different. You have multiple ethnic markets and sub-markets. Spain is different from France and Poland and Germany. Their taste preferences, consumer habits, it's all different. People are really interested in food, they're well informed, they like new taste experiences. Consumers are also very uh, health and wellness focused. They are very conscious about being fit and eating well and eating healthy. Sustainability and environmental production is very important. It's one of the key subjects of consumers are looking for products right now. Europe is a very mature market. So there's a lot of um, domestic competition. There's also a lot of foreign competition from other third countries. I think you need to really just think about which market you want to target, where you want to put it, um, make sure it's got a maple leaf on it. Exactly, like you might have a product that really sells well in Spain, but doesn't have any success in Austria. So um, you have to make sure to really get to know the market beforehand. Best place to start is to talk to one of the trade commissioners.